Hey up everybody, Magpie909 here, and in this video we're going to be looking at what we know regarding the game Prey. Now, Prey is due for release on the 6th of May worldwide, and these kind of videos where I collate information about the games and look at the various aspects of the games are something that I wouldn't normally do for a game that is only a month away from release. I'm looking to do it for games that are months and months down the line, but the AAA market's a little bit dry at the moment, and Prey's got my attention. I've watched quite a few videos off their uh, YouTube page regarding this game and it does look quite good and it looks quite polished for what it is so I thought yeah why not take a look at it and see what it's all about. Now some of you out there will be thinking but we've had Prey before and we did quite a while ago and the original Prey game was out 11 years ago now in 2006 and this Prey which is coming out next month is kind of like the spiritual successor to Prey. It's shares the name but it doesn't share too much else it's the same kind of game it's a first person shooter but it doesn't really share any of the storyline elements or anything like that now this prey was meant to be a sequel to the original it was going to be called prey 2 which is very original but it ran into some trouble now the intellectual property for this game was transferred from 3d realms over to Bethesda softworks and it was eventually cancelled in 2014. arcane's arcane studio took it over and they've said that this game doesn't have any of the elements of the original sequel within it they've completely started again and the only thing that it does carry over is the actual name of the main protagonist and that's it so as I just mentioned Arcane Studios are the one developing this game and it's going to be published by Vivesta Softworks now for those in the know you will know that those are the two companies that were responsible for Dishonored 2 and quite frankly that game was a mess upon release so there's some people a little bit worried about this release wondering will it go the same way but Bethesda Softworks have assured people that that won't be the case this is using a completely different graphics engine to what Dishonored 2 was using now for Dishonored 2 the Void engine was used, this was an in-house engine developed by Bethesda Softworks using technology taken over from id Tech 5 and it was a bit of a mess to be honest. I think it did get patched out and it's working quite well now but it took a while to get there. I could be wrong it might not still be working, I never bought into that game. I heard what a mess it was and to be honest looking at the gameplay it didn't really look like something that I would enjoy so I never touched that game. But this um, Prey is going to use CryEngine and of course CryEngine is a lot more established than the void engine was so they've said that there will be next to no problems no issues with this game upon launch Welcome plenty of testing has been done apparently so but we hear these things all the time so we're gonna to have to wait until it's released to know whether that's the case or not so now we're gonna look into the setting of the game a little bit what you can expect from it and prey takes place in an alternate timeline and this is one where John F Kennedy survives his assassination attempt and he basically puts lots and lots of funding into the space program you may remember that back in the day when he was alive that was one of the things that he was doing he was pushing the space program quite well so in this game survived his assassination attempt and continues to pump money into the space program eventually America and the USSR band together to build a space station which is called Talos 1 this is orbiting the moon and this is used as a prison for the Typhon who are the uh, aliens that you fight within the game and basically what's happened is that the USSR and the USA have started to experiment on the Typhon and there is a breakout they take over the station and from what I can make out you're pretty much the last person left on the station and you need to fight your way out of it now this is a game that's going to have a strong narrative there's going to be multiple endings to the game so it's going to depend on what decisions you make within the game as to what kind of outcome you get at the end of the game and this is a single player only game there are no multiplayer elements to this game as of the moment it's not to say that they may not be added in the future but at the moment there's been no word from arcane studios regarding a multiplayer i think they've just put everything they've got into making this single player look as good as it can and looking at the trailers as you can see in the background it does look like a really polished finished off game reminds me a little bit of fear there's a lot of people will remember that first person shooter from a fair few years back looks a little bit like that there's a hell of a lot of detail going on in the air uh, on the screen and it makes me wonder how many people actually take in what they're seeing on the screen you know there's so much detail there how much of it is actually overlooked by us how much of it do, do we just not see or do we take for granted but it does look really really good 
Now Prey is going to be released on the PC, the PS4 and the Xbox One all at the same time. There's no differing, uh, differing release dates for the different formats, it's all at the same time. And doing a quick price check. Now I've decided to do this price check on Amazon because Amazon's quite a good flat line for the pricing. Plus I can look at Amazon.com for our friends over in America so you can get an idea of the prices. And over here in England on the PC it's £34.99 at the moment on Amazon and for the PS4 and the Xbox One it's £44 flat. Now when I was checking out the pricing for over in America I noticed something a little bit odd. Over in America you pay exactly the same price regardless of the format. Now, I don't know if that's the same for every release, I don't know if it's always been like that in America, I don't know if it differs different titles. It, how it works over here in the UK is that the PC versions are always cheaper than the console versions. Been like that for many, many years now. It's very rare that a PC title matches a console title's price. So over in America it is $59.99 on all formats and again I find that really strange I don't know if it's the same for all games you know somebody from America is going to have to comment and let me know on that one and fill me in on that now of course this is a Steam game on Steam at the moment the price is £39.99 that's £39.99 if you wanted to go down the discount route CD keys have currently got it for £27.99 or if you're in America it is £35.29 which is hell of a lot it's almost half the price of what Amazon are asking for it over in the States. So I know which one I'd do. And that is for the PC version. And that is pretty much all I've got for you today in this video. Those are just the basics for the game. It is looking really good. It's looking really polished. I have it on pre-order. I've also got that day booked off work. So I'm looking to do quite a few videos for this game. Probably stream some of it as well at the same time, hopefully. Um, family time permitting. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and listening and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.